Hi again, it's Miss Harrigan and our new friend, Mr. Frog. And I promised that we'd be reading a story today. So Mr. Frog is going to sit next to me, right, Mr. Frog? And are you going to be a very good listener? And are you going to try to answer the questions that I ask? Oh, he's a very good student. Okay, Mr. Frog, I'm going to put you right next to me and I want you to be a very good listener because this story is about a frog named Harry. It's called Hungry Harry. If we look at the cover, I wonder if we could figure out what the story is about. Harry's tongue is out. He's licking his lips. Mm. And he's looking at a dragonfly. So what do you think Mr. Harry, or Hungry Harry, is thinking of? Do you think he's thinking of eating that dragonfly? Is that why he's hungry? Let's see. Let's find out what this story is about. Do you remember what frogs like to eat? Right, when they're tadpoles, they like to eat little plants. And then when they grow up to be frogs, they eat bugs. And they catch them with their sticky tongue. Hungry Harry by Joanne Pardis. Harry Frog was feeling hungry. What's for dinner, he asked his mom. Well, I think you're old enough to look for your own food now, said Mommy Frog. Terrific, said Harry, and off he leaped across the lily pads. Let's count how many lily pads there are. One, two, three, four. They kind of look like what shape? Look like hearts to me. There he goes, hopping across his lily pads on his pond, looking for something to eat. Till he came to some tall reeds. There's sure to be something tasty here, said Harry, licking his lips. Sure enough, there was a delicious looking dragonfly. Harry was just about to jump when the dragonfly flew off high into the air. You can't eat me, she called. I'm much too quick for you. Harry was wondering what to do next when suddenly, look at his tongue sticking out, but that dragonfly was too quick what did he see next? He saw a big, juicy caterpillar on a twig above him. Goody, goody, dinner at last, cried Harry. But when he flicked out his tongue to catch it, what do you think will happen? The caterpillar laughed. You can't eat me, she said. My hairs would tickle your tongue. So the dragonfly was too quick and the caterpillar is too hairy. Never mind, I'll find something soon, said Harry. He bounced on until he met a scrumptious looking snail crawling toward him. You think he'll be able to eat the snail? Well, the snail is not too quick like the dragonfly and the snail is definitely not fuzzy like the caterpillar. Yummy, yummy, said Harry, but when he reached it, the snail's head suddenly disappeared. You can't eat me, said the snail from inside its shell. I'm much too clever. Where did the snail go to hide? In his shell. Do you remember an other animal we talked about that can go into the shell to hide? The turtle, right. Harry was getting hungrier and hungrier. He was just about to give up and go home to his mom when he spotted a squirmy worm wriggling along. <gasps> I think he's gonna catch it. Now's my chance, cried Harry. But just as he was about to catch the worm in his big wide mouth, now what could this worm do to get away? Let's see. It slithered down into a wormhole. You can't eat me, shouted the worm. I'm too squiggly and squirmy. 
Hmm. So let's think. The dragonfly was too quick. The caterpillar was too fuzzy. The snail was very clever, like a fox. And now the worm is too squirmy and squiggly. Harry felt fed up. Do you know what that means when you feel fed up? He's just done. He's just hungry and tired and done and he wants to eat. He would go home to his mom. But just as he turned to hop back, he saw something he'd never seen before. I wonder what it could be. It didn't look too quick. It didn't look too tickly. It didn't look too clever. And it didn't look too squiggly and squirmy. In fact, it looked absolutely delicious. And what was more, what do you think he sees? What do you think he might eat? I think it might be a big fly. Let's see. There was enough for everyone. <gasps> what did Hungry Harry find? He found a picnic and all of his friends are there. The dragonfly and the caterpillar and the snail and even the wiggly worm. All of his friends were there. Now, do you think frogs and, and caterpillars and dragonflies and snails and worms would really like to eat a picnic? Or do you think it's just a silly make-believe story? Mm, I think it's make-believe because I know that frogs really like to eat insects and flies. But Hungry Harry found a picnic and he's going to have cheese and a hot dog. That's very silly. The end. Now let's see if Mr. Froggy liked that. Did you like that, Mr. Froggy? You sat very nicely and quietly as I read. Did you ever eat a picnic meal before? No. Do you prefer flies? Oh, yes, he does. But it was still a very nice story, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope everybody has a really nice weekend, and I'll see you again on Monday morning. Bye.